Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at everything we know about the Ahsoka series. Revenge is not the Jedi way. I am no Jedi. For this list, we're covering all the facts and rumors surrounding Disney's limited series about Anakin's former Padawan. What do you hope to see in the Ahsoka series? Tell us in the comments. A long time ago. A youngling? And who are you supposed to be? I'm Ahsoka? Master Yoda sent me. In The Clone Wars, we watched Ahsoka grow from Anakin's snippy apprentice into a confident and badass warrior. When we caught up with her again in Rebels, she was fighting the Empire under the codename Fulcrum. The protocol has changed. Fulcrum. Ahsoka. My name is Ahsoka Tano. The Ahsoka series will be set within the timeline of The Mandalorian, so about five years after the fall of the Empire and Return of the Jedi. It's a precarious time in the galaxy. The Republic has been restored, but its reach is limited, especially in the Outer Rim, where local warlords and Imperial remnants cling to power. You cannot wait to see what Ahsoka makes of this Wild West-like setting. A mysterious logo. Admittedly, the when of the series might actually be a bit more complicated than that. The Force is what gives the Jedi its power. It's an energy created by all living things. It surrounds us, it penetrates us, it binds the galaxy together. Fans think the series logo recalls the world between worlds, a plane that links all moments in time and space. Inspired by C.S. Lewis's Wood Between the Worlds in the Chronicles of Narnia, it was introduced in Rebels, where Jedi Padawan Ezra Bridger used a portal to save Ahsoka from the past. Ahsoka! What could that mean for the series? Will Ahsoka travel between times? Could we glimpse her adventures between Clone Wars and Rebels? How about what she was up to during the original trilogy? Or is it all a red herring? We'll have to wait to find out. Keep going! You can make it! When you get back, come and find me! I will! I promise! We're in good hands. The one thing that unifies us is we all love Star Wars. Mm. Right? That was the prerequisite. Yeah. With The Mandalorian, Iron Man director Jon Favreau showed us that visiting a galaxy far, far away can be just as fun in a live-action series as in animation and film. He'll return as executive producer of Ahsoka, which is good news for fans. Writing the series will be Clone Wars and Rebel showrunner Dave Filoni, who's been closely involved with Ahsoka's creation and development from the start. Really, for me, you go from never doing anything in live-action and issuing a Star Wars anything it's a very complex arrangement of ideas and reality and, and imagination running together. And I'm very fortunate to have John here as like a mentor. Filoni worked with Favreau on The Mandalorian, writing and directing several episodes, including The Jedi, in which Ahsoka made her live-action debut. Maybe Filoni's own character from The Mandalorian, New Republic pilot Trapper Wolf, will get a cameo in Ahsoka. Looks like they're launching a gunship. Copy. Going in. The Return of Rosario Dawson Star Wars has successfully brought several characters from animation into live action before. Boba Fett actually debuted in 1978's Holiday Special. I am Boba Fett. The ship you seek is nearby. Saw Gerrera and Bo-Katan Kryze both began life in the Clone Wars, before appearing in Rogue One and The Mandalorian, respectively. But none of these debuts was as anticipated as Ahsoka's. Rosario Dawson had long coveted the role before being officially cast. The idea originally came from a fan on Twitter, news of which reached Dave Filoni. While some fans were disappointed that Ashley Eckstein, Ahsoka's voice actor, didn't get the role, Dawson delivered a dedicated performance in The Mandalorian. She's set to reprise her role in Ahsoka old friends not forgotten. There was something else I was meant to do. Ezra's out there somewhere. 
and it's time to bring him home. When we last saw Ahsoka in Rebels, she was embarking on a quest with Sabine Wren to rescue Ezra, who had been dragged into hyperspace with Grand Admiral Thrawn. And remember, the Force will be with you, always. Ahsoka is still hunting down Thrawn in The Mandalorian, which will likely be the premise of the Ahsoka series. Where is your master? Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? Does that mean that Sabine is somewhere in tow? Well, talking to Vanity Fair, Dave Filoni gave this tantalizing clue. That epilogue in Rebels might not take place prior to The Mandalorian. It could be afterwards. So, the Ahsoka series might begin after her appearance in The Mandalorian, but right where Rebels left off. Rumors across the galaxy. Whatever happens next happens to both of us. That's the idea. Given Ahsoka's quest, many fans hope to see Ezra, Sabine, and Thrawn also make the jump to live action. And rumors claim that Aladdin actor Mina Masood, a fan favorite for the role, has already been cast as Ezra. Since Ezra is basically Jedi Aladdin, this would only be fitting. Thanks for doing the heavy lifting. <sighs> now what? After that key! The same rumors report that Thrawn's voice actor Lars Mikkelsen, whose brother Mads played Galen Erso in Rogue One, will portray the Grand Admiral. There is also speculation that Katie Sackhoff will reprise her role as Bo-Katan Kryze, and that we might even see Barriss Offee, whose betrayal ultimately led Ahsoka to leave the Jedi Order. <laughs> then again, you know who else it would also be awesome to see her face-to-face -face with? Luke Skywalker. Come on, Dave. A familiar face, if you take this mask off. Luke, help me take this mask off. Fortunately, we do have some exciting casting confirmed. Hayden Christensen will return as Anakin in Ahsoka, as in another series, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan, may the Force be with you. Goodbye, old friend. May the Force be with you. Christensen and Dawson have worked together before, and actually took the same acting class as teens. Of course, Anakin died in Return of the Jedi, five years before Ahsoka is presumably set. This seems to suggest that he'll appear as a Force ghost. Since he became one with the Force when he died, he'd presumably have some sage advice. This could give closure to Ahsoka's grief over losing Anakin to the dark side. Anakin. I won't leave you. Not this time. Then again, given hints that the world between worlds might be involved, it's not impossible that we could see Anakin in the flesh, perhaps during the Clone Wars or as Vader post Revenge of the Sith. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. A Climactic Crossover The Mandalorian was such a hit, Disney announced three spin-offs, The Book of Boba Fett, Rangers of the New Republic, and Ahsoka. Jabba ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. At Disney Investor Day in December 2020, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy said that Mandalorian, Rangers, and Ahsoka would be, quote, interconnected and, quote, culminate in a climactic story event. I didn't finish the job. No. But this belongs with the Mandalorian. However, Variety reports that Rangers of the New Republic is, quote, no longer in active development. Still, that does leave three shows with epic crossover potential. Sadly, Ahsoka isn't expected to release before 2023. But while we wait for this so-called climactic story event, we might still get to see her in Boba or Mandalorian Season 3. Here's Crossing Our Sabers. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. 
and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.